Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well out there. Today's video is going to be about miniature tripods with, for the most part, all except for one of these, have the feature of an extendable arm to be utilized as like a selfie stick or for tabletop use. But they are all small tripods. Things are going to be good for action cameras, small point and shoot cameras, and with the proper adapter, you can definitely utilize these with your, your phone. So, because all of these though are, well, not all of them, you've got two different versions here. I've got some that utilize the action camera head, and also the others here have a quarter 20 thread to them. So to level the playing field, as I'd say, I guess, uh, I've added an action camera mount to the top of the ones that take a quarter 20 thread, Pretty much because that's the direction I um, am going to be using these for the most part, you know, the primary usage for me. And I want to show a good look at these, what they look like side by side on an even playing field. So if you're using one of these and have a uh, threaded mount at the bottom, it's going to reverse things. So of course, in a situation such as this here, where we got the PGY Tech which comes with the action camera mount and the Ulanzi, which this is the little mount I'm talking about. I added on here. Take that off and you see that these are actually pretty close to the same height, but two different completely mounts. So if you need this quarter 20 mount, this one's going to get higher. Actually going to use one of these here. So there you go, about that high there, so you can see the difference. Now I'll go ahead and leave links to each one of these down in the description below. Your use of those, uh, they're affiliate links, so if you use it to uh, purchase any of these items, I get a little credit, no added cost to you. I really appreciate that. Okay, so enough about that. Let's get into it. This particular tripod on the end is the odd man out, let's say. You see, this is another one of those little mounts I've added to the top. This is the Manfrotto. The only reason I'm actually including this one in this grouping is because of this nice push button that releases the, the ball head. This is something that I would really love to see on the versions here that have a ball head integrated. They're still using the twist knobs and as I get into it, you'll see why I dislike that so much. And this particular tripod right here is strong enough where I can hold my Sony A7 series full frame with a good size lens. It's a 24 to 105. It will no problem support that camera. So there's no excuse for something that's designed for much smaller applications not to just integrate a nice easy push button mount and in the case of the Yulanzi you see the ball is much smaller and it doesn't need to be this big because again the application is much smaller so that's the only only thing I really want to touch base on on that one if you see my other video I go a little bit more in depth showing a little bit more about that um, that was a video I did before on just general tripods. I'll put a link up in the top or description down below. So now I'm going to walk through each one of these other tripods. So I'll start here with the shortest one. This is the Shorty by GoPro. It's a very compact little design. This is the one I've been using for quite a while now. And the reason why I end up having to go into the market to look for a new one. It doesn't grip really tight. And over time of holding it up with the, just a GoPro, and I was using the Hero 8 on this, this would actually just start to settle down. And for the most part, it's the top extension piece that really takes just about no pressure. You see the second one actually is, it's a bit loose as well. And I guess it's just over time, they just kind of loosen in there. So it's super compact. 
compared to the next two here in line, especially if you're just going action camera to action camera, you can see the, the difference there. You know, and the fact that this with the camera on it, you can shove into pretty much any pocket. This one, it's gonna be just slightly less convenient. Um, it's not gonna fit into your pocket quite as nicely, but you get a whole lot more reach with the, with this one. Going bottom to bottom there. You can see that to that. Quite a difference. So, very nice convenient shorts in stature and it's been okay. A nice little feature about it, when you open the legs, you can just set it straight down. Some of these other ones we have to, in the case again of the PGY Tech, if you open, open it up to extend the legs, the, the bottom is too long. And another part is that once you put the legs out, it kind of pinches that. So it's pretty tight. So you want to pull it out first and then you can deploy the legs. No problem at all. Yeah, so it's just one of those things you just kind of have to get used to with the reach uh, that that one gives you. It's kind of a little bit better all around. Get more into that here shortly. But this one also just kind of some plastic notches, I guess is the best description for it. That brings it all together, holds it together tight. Moving on here to the Ulanzi or Ulanzi. I'm not sure how you pronounce this one. It uses this knob, it's a twist screw to loosen and tighten the, the ball joint. It does have the little notch here for a portrait mode, which is nice, definitely. It also is one of the types that this uh, shaft in the center there is recessed, so you can just open it up, no problem at all with this one here and well on the bottom of it it's it also just kind of clicks together just like the gopro shorty now this one is very stiff <laughs> i guess that's probably a good thing considering the problem that i've had with the gopro uh, might last a little bit longer uh, when you do extend this actually kind of seems like they wasted a little bit here it's almost like that could uh, be useful little portion, but that stays. This is fully extended. Now again, if this just had a push button, it would be very, very nice, beneficial. Uh, one of the things, so if you want to loosen this, you'll have your camera on here. This ball is pretty stiff also, so it kind of holds itself up there. And this one's not too bad with this little dual side uh, where you can kind of loosen it that way. And then when you go to tighten it, you have another, another lever kind of portion to, to actually get your finger on there. You can kind of grab it like this and twist it. It's not too bad overall. And this one's kind of an expensive, an inexpensive little unit. So now moving on to the PGY tech interesting thing about the pgy tech pgy tech they have their own little proprietary pin system something that i was a little leery of when i was first looking at the item because you have so many of those threaded um, screws that, that go to the rest of everything else that with the gopro has integrating and starting to utilize this new pin system it's a little questionable, but they do send you out a second one of these, as well as it comes with a mount for quarter 20 thread. This, this came together as part of the kit kind of a thing. I actually would say that this pin grabs the GoPro mount better than the GoPro itself. The GoPro itself, it's super tight and when you put the GoPro in there, you can kind of see it spreading a little bit. While the PGY Tech, number one, it just slips right, right in without a problem. And so this, the pin right here, you, you twist it 
So it would go in like this, and then you about a quarter turn, and then there's one level, kind of clicks down, and you can still adjust the, the camera's mount. And then one last one, and it's, it's more locked in place. I could, I could still kind of push this and, and move it a little bit, but it's, it's much more secure in there. Actually comes with some stickers that you could put on there to make it a little tighter if need be. So the fact that you get a secondary pin is kind of nice and, and the system is pretty nice and, and convenient. I got to say that it, hopefully it holds up and hopefully I don't have any situations where I lose the pins. One thing about it, where you have it in there, it's not gripped so easy, so it could easily kind of pop out. Um, so you just want to be aware of that, let's say, and maybe don't keep it together like this if you're just going to have it loose in some place where the pin could fall out and get away from you, let's say. Now the thing about this one though, like I said, you can't just, you got to, you're going to have to be aware because you, you can't just set this down. The, the stem here is too low and you need to close the legs a little bit to get it out. But when you extend it, of course, being a little higher, it's got, it's a little bit more wobbly, but you see the difference here. It's a huge difference now from the GoPro to the PGY Tech, fully extended. Now the GoPro, if you want, if you're going for low angle, well again, extend that up a little bit. See, this is one of those like, it's just a little, a little bit more finicky than I want to deal with regularly. But um, anyways, low wise, it gets pretty low. That's a, you know, maybe an inch or something difference. Um, but overall the construction also feels pretty good in this one. Uh, diameter wise, I don't see that it's, I think it's maybe just a little bit, a little bit wider around than the GoPro. Um, it has some magnets that we hold the base together. Feels pretty good. Okay, so the last, last unit here is by far the largest. You see compared to the Shorty, I mean, monstrous, uh, even to the PGY Tech, it is, I mean, I, that's almost twice as long. Oops, let me get this in there. You know, the picture here, the Shorty, which is definitely twice as long. Um, but this one was different use altogether for me, is the way I was looking at it. It's also the only one out of the group, well, let me backtrack a little bit. So it's also one that I've added the action camera mount to. It does come with one of these, as well as it also comes with its own camera mount, which is kind of nice because it's got threads. It's actually got a 45 degree angle, which you don't really need because it's got a ball head. But anyways, another one over here, another one over here, has this lever action to, to set the grip, as well as these bumpers, I'm going to call it, to grab hold of the phone are pretty nice because I just feel like they're, well, not hard plastic and it's going to be a little bit softer on your device. So that's nice. But ultimately, besides that, it's big and bulky, just like the unit itself. So I'm not sure that that's actually going to be coming with me. But Moving on here, it's got a very small ball head. Actually, I think it's got a smaller ball than the Ulanzi or Ulanzi. See there? And also, the release mechanism on this one, the little screw, only has the, the extension leverage on one end. See there? Which, it's, I mean, all the way around, this one is much more finicky. So, when you loosen it, 
the head just spins around freely from the, the grip itself as well as it's very floppy here. Now, when you tighten it, now it doesn't spin anymore and the ball's locked. Now, it does have the, again, portrait mode. One thing that this one is different than all the rest, it's the style where you twist it to lock and unlock the extension function. So, if I want to retract it, got to twist it and drop it. Which is something where it makes this, because I go to loosen this, and now I'm just pushing, I'm loosening the rest of it. It's, so, you actually have to get two hands on this thing and then you can loosen this and it's just very fidgety. I, I'm just not, not at all happy with that. And then besides that, so you've got these three levels of extension there. And then here's another, another section that's kind of gripped into the handle on its own. So when I twist these, it only, only uh, operates the first three sections and then this one here is all operated through this lock nut I guess you would call it. The legs themselves as well here the light just changed considerably on me. Uh, you'll see here so when you open it and this is another one that's got magnets in the legs there. There's one setting, two settings, and three settings. They're just kind of notches in there. They, I, there's no, so when you go to deploy it, you kind of, so I got one of them that went out two, one of them that went out one. So you just, you're, again, it's like, it's fidgety. And probably the, well, I don't know. It's kind of a tight, tight one for, for the worst. But I was thinking that this grip, because it's rubbery, it's solid, it, you know, I, I felt like it would be really nice and tight. I, I just, I was expecting something nice and beefy. But when you go and grip this thing, I don't know, does it show there? These, they, they separate and like, you can feel, you can feel them shifting away from one another and then it's just, I don't know how well it's going to pick it up there, but it feels cheap. And then, and that's with the bottom in there. You extend this out and it's, here, now I know you can see it. You can see how those are twisting in there. And it's just twisting in your hand, so it just feels like garbage, um, real junk. Now you might also be reasonably thinking, well, why don't you just not grip it so tightly? And the problem with that though is that that shaft right here actually rattles against the legs. And because I'm using this for filming, I'd be picking that up with the audio, which you might be able to hear that there, a little ticking. So you have to grip it so that you actually squeeze the legs onto that center shaft so that you don't pick up any any of that rattling noise. Um, so yeah, just all around, I'd have to say pretty bad design in that department. And then also, here's another one where if I wanted to deploy this all the way out for the most stability, this column needs to be raised a little bit. And you can bring it up, but this camera angle is going to be hard to show, but this is very, very flimsy and floppy. So I, I, even wind would make this wobble. So I think a GoPro, especially if you have it set on some of their uh, hyper smooth or something like that, you're not going to run into a real like issue with that. But 
with a lot of your other cameras or if you don't have that setting on it's it's going to catch a lot of a lot of shaking the other one i mean with such a small ball head there's no reason why i can't get a push button and then also if you're going to go this far with it why not give me one of these um you know where you can pull it out and then reposition because for me again if i push on that to to tighten it up now i've just loosened everything up which I, it just feels finicky and cheap so yeah polar pro tripler i believe this is called very disappointed in this one but anyways yeah so i hope that gives you some insight on just little particulars to pay attention to or that you might be interested in um, if you're looking for one of these kind of an item and if you have any questions whatsoever please drop it down in the comments below i don't ima I, I i imagine that there's a very good chance that i buzz right over something so yeah um yeah, hopefully that was uh, some help to you and again i'll be putting the links down in the bottom in the description area so that uh, you, if you guys are interested in any of these items or just want to support the channel you can utilize those links. They are affiliate links, paid links, however you want to say it, where it will definitely give me a little bit of help in uh, continuing this journey. So I uh, hope everybody's doing well out there. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.